Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can manually wind back the Epson F2100 print head cleaning kit, specifically the fabric wiper that often when it runs out, the machine will stop printing and won't let you continue without getting this replaced. I do recommend you should have a second one of these available ready to put in whenever it requests it. That's obviously going to be the best solution. However, if you are in a bind and you do need to get that last print in, this is something you can do to get that final print or if you're waiting for this replacement piece to get your job complete. I will note that if you do something like this, you're likely to void your Epson warranty. I wouldn't recommend it. The reason I have this one is because I've gone ahead and replaced mine. So I have this one to demonstrate on and I'm not gonna be using this. For today, I will be using my iFixit kit. This is typically used for taking apart cell phones or other electronic devices. However, I found it to be a great tool just in general to take apart certain things. So I'll be using this to get into the fabric wiper. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is take off this silver base plate, which is being held on by a couple little plastic tabs on either side, as well as the back. The best way I've found to do this is to take something like this metal pry tool or this plastic pry tool to get underneath each one of these tabs, pull them back, pop it out so it doesn't fall back in. Once it's all done, it should easily pop out. And like so, we have two different pieces. You can put this on the side, make sure not to damage your spring, and don't lose it, of course. So once we're inside, we're gonna be removing this plastic piece here. Again, being careful not to lose it. If you see this little ridge here, this circular bit, that is what lines up with the spring. So make sure when we are replacing it to keep this side up. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove this covering here, which is held on by a little spring, a little circular spring in the center, this little black bit here. I'll be using my tweezers to get in there and pull it out. Be very careful not to let this shoot out. If it does, take the time to find it. This is a very important piece to have and obviously you can't put it back together without it. Again, it's very delicate. There is a little split in there that helps it stay on. Make sure to put this on the side and definitely, definitely don't lose this either. Once we have that off, we can simply take this piece and it will have these gears Make sure, again, not to lose any of these smaller pieces. These three gears are very important and they'll slot back in here once we're done. But for now, we can pull these all out and put it off on to the side. Once that's off, we can go ahead and remove this bottom plate, which we can put on the side as well. Make sure to keep it clean and don't lose it. Finally, we're ready to wind everything back using this wheel on the side. If you're holding it like this with the bulk of the fabric on this side, simply take the wheel and wind it towards you in a counterclockwise direction, making sure the whole tension on it so the fabric is wound up extremely tight. This will take a little bit, so I'll go ahead and fast forward this whole process and bring you guys back when we have most of this fabric on this side. And like that, we're good to go. We've got every, all the fabric put on this side and we're ready to reassemble everything. Make sure you hold tension on this wheel so it doesn't unwind and loosen up. Essentially what we're gonna be doing is the reverse of what we did to take this apart. Firstly, we're gonna be putting on that bottom plate, which is keyed with two little holes that line up with these two pegs. Next thing, we're gonna be replacing these gears. Each one of these gears go into one of these slots and then this top portion, again, is also keyed to match and only fits on one direction onto the bottom plate. And make sure you are putting this on the right direction. It goes on one way, so that should match in the center. Like so. And the last thing we have to do is place this retaining ring back onto the post to make sure it's held in place. Like I mentioned before, it does have a little split in the ring. That is what we're gonna to use to get this back onto the post. By essentially holding one side of the ring down, grabbing the other side, pulling it around the post, and then securing it down. Finally, we're ready to reassemble the cage. The plastic piece with the round insert, this goes on top of the part that we just wound up. 
and when putting back the cover, the bottom plate, make sure that the spring goes back into that center hole when you're closing it up. The best way I've found to do this is by getting the metal tabs on the back end first and then working our way around getting these tabs on the side. So there you go. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you learned something or at least found this entertaining. At the very least, have a good one and take care.